Aloha everyone, the time has come when I look at the Alola League Finals. The first part of this tour by title entitled Final Rivals, so let's open it up. Professor Oak, Mimi, and Dealer Ketchum Ketchum have come to see the event in person. We get the payoff for what Meltdown is doing. A bunch have gathered into its evolved form, Mail Metal. It's a new move, Double Iron Bash. Just with love, Rowlet, Mary Meltan, they're resting in its chest. Of the intro sequence, we see Gladion practicing his match tomorrow with as Lucimi and Lily come to see him. Lucimi also mentions her past with Moon, which will be important later. Hmm. The day has come for a final match. I've been prepping to talk about this ever since I started addressing this anime. Ash and Gladion take the field, and as Team Rock goes to live stream, aim of the match, just put the finishing touch on Leah's Mecca. Elsewhere, Beware and Stuff will send something terrible about to happen, rush off to Manal Stadium as our Ranguru robot breaks down. Back at the stadium, the final match will be a 3 vs 3 final battle. Glad on the sub ally. Ash comes with his newly evolved Mel Metal. The match begins. Mel Metal charges towards sub ally with double Iron Bash, putting sub ally on the defensive. Sub ally counters with Air Slash, but Mel Metal is unfazed. Sub ally counters with Crush Claw, but Mel Metal follows up with Flash Cannon. After that, Sub-Ally starts bobbing, weaving sideways until it lands a Crush Claw attack. Gladion hmm. then adds a Fighting Memory to Sub-Ally, changing it to Fighting Type. It lands a multi-attack, but Mel Metal is still standing. As two trainers exchange blows, I see it will be an easy advantage this has over the Colossal that Gladion is a far better rival than Lawn ever was. He actually enjoys what he does, and is capable of moody normally, for example. Despite a valley of a Mel Metal, Sub-Ally wins the first set. The remaining Pokemon counts 3-2 as Ash sends out Pikachu next. Pikachu leads a quick attack that follows up with Iron Tail, which battle takes a Crush Claw and Air Slash, and the battle impresses Faba. Pikachu uses Electro Whip, that follows a quick attack as a slingshot into an Iron Tail, and that is a good combo as it takes down Zavali. Galarion falls with Dust Lycan Rock, and we move on to the next set. Lycan Rock leads with Night Days, I must say, I do like how the enemy is a bit hit this attack. Pikachu counters with Electro Whip and Thunderbolt, however, this outs his true form. Zoroark, which belongs to Father Moon, to be continued right now. To hmm. a brief recap of the intro and the intro, we move with the second part of this battle, Enter the Champion. Pichon Zoroark exchange blows as Gladion activates his Z-move, Nerdy Nightmare. A real love on animators are picked at this. In an attempt to get out of the grip of the move, Ash activates his own Z-move, Gigabolt Havoc. This results in a double KO for Pikachu and Zoroark. Mm. With one Pokemon each in reserve, the two are actually enjoying the final battle. This is a key reason why this league is better than the Colos League. With that league, Svenly had a great battle undermining my controversial outcome. This one has a great outcome accompanied by his final battle. But I'm eager to tell you all why since I started this series. Now it's Dust Like and Rock and Midnight Like and Rock, the final set has begun. We can flash but everything that's brought them here, the two like and rock a lot of a duo of stones attacks, and I really enjoy the way battle is framed. Accelerock and counterattacks clash as do Stone Age and Bite attacks. It's only quite impressive how a pair like and rock can make for more engaging battle than a couple enhanced stage 2 starters. Mm. Case in point. Ash's like and rock using counter against counter from Gladion's like and rock. Moreover, Gladion's like and rock uses outrage and hurling itself on confusion after it's done. Before that, it also used Sword stands to raise it there. It's attack power, which makes way more sense than Lon's complete lack of characterization beyond being, you know, discontinuity Charlemagne minus the charisma. Uh, the two like and rock began their final push, and a breakthrough happens. Midnight like and rock is slammed into stadium walls, and Ash has won the battle with Dusk like and rock becoming Alola's first champion ever in the process. First of all. I can now officially say this anime has more in common with Orange Islands than Black and White. Second, imagine your victory not being tainted by allying yourself with a villain faction. This post was made by the the Champions Gang. And we close this two-part of national victory ceremony, Huni, and the promise of an exhibition match in Mass Royal. More on that later. Hmm. These episodes rank among... Not just the best in Sun and Moon, but the entire anime to date. Some people claim this doesn't mean much. I do not agree. On the contrary, this is just the beginning of what's next. I'll do another video on the matter after finish the anime for now. 
I'm going to enjoy this championship and say what confidence I consider the Alola League to be better than the Carlos League. My plan is to have work on the main episodes finished by the end of this month and have the vlogs out early next month. That will be all for now. Alola. Hmm.